7-1. Well, you got to apply the precepts. The scripture said you can't celebrate Christmas. So what you going to do, brother? I'm not, I'm not getting this, bro. I'm just picking this up for somebody. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't be partakers of other man's sins. All right? So if they celebrate Christmas, you can't be, you know, helping them celebrate. You understand that, brother? Gucci sandals on the way I'm sliding up I won't join no gang cause I speak truth and I ain't slime enough I can't kill my brothers, we the same, it's just not adding up Esau he a killer, Gino side, he keeps attracting us Most I say be fruitful, multiply so we be adding up Compare his seed to the sand of the sea, we deep so you can't add us up My people they got hate inside they heart, they wanna paint us up Grew up in the red zone, blood tears, I see red flags on us This world be killing me, with lies the way they capping on me Like these public Kins, they coons and seeing the way they taxing on me Prove what you say, the evidence, show me the facts, little homie Don't hold your tongue, just bring it out What's on your mind, little brody? Riding on 4 Giados, bougie, how we sit, Moscato huh. Feast days of the Lord, champagne, be rainy, poncho huh. Salvation of the Lord's people, come on, we need that pronto huh. Wisdom, yes, it bring riches, like we just won a lotto Keep huh. these commandments in the faith, my brother, that's the motto huh. Most how humble you quick, boy, if you think you macho Israel, we poor, but we rich as <laughs> Sorry. This Act 17 and 1. Now, when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica, where was a synagogue of the Jews. Of the Jews. And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them in three seven days, reasoned with them out of the scripture. We're trying to reason with our people out of the scriptures on this mighty Shabbat, all right? Or right. Shabbat over with, but hey, every day, all right? We're trying to reason out of the scriptures with the uh, Most High's people, all right? Hey, and condemn these damn uh, heathens, right? right. Hey, what's your nationality? Yeah, all right. Yeah. You better walk faster, all right? Boy. 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 Bring it up. Verse 3. Hey, no pictures. No videos. Who doing it? Boy. Don't get jammed up out here, all right? Bring it up. <laughs> Verse 3. Opening and alleging that Christ must needs have suffered. Now what? That Christ must needs have suffered and risen again from the dead. Give me the book of Luke chapter 13 and verse 3. We reason with our people out the scriptures and telling them, hey, hey, Christ died for a reason, right? For you to come back to the fold. For you to repent and walk in the newness of the spirit, right? Bring it up. It's the book of Luke chapter 13 verse 3. Bring it up. I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, what? except ye repent, Ye shall all likewise perish. Shall what? Likewise perish. Shall all likewise perish. Unless you repent, right? We must repent. You got the Christian church saying hey, we can just commit sin, right? We can just freak off, do what we want to do tonight, right? That is not so according to the scriptures. Y'all Hispanic? Are y'all Hispanic? Yeah. yeah one, one minute for the Bible. One minute. Come here, come here real quick. Real, real, real quick. One, two seconds. Two seconds. See, look. The Northern Kingdom is so hard in it, right? So hard in it. Madness. Bring it up. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 7, and verse 10. Bring it up. For godly sorrow working for repentance. For what? For godly sorrow working for repentance. To salvation, not to be repented of. But the sorrow of the world worketh death. But the what? The sorrow of the world worketh death. The sorrow of the world do work death, right? A lot of people, they, get, they bug they self out from the sorrow of the world, from them being sorrow. They got to have that same sorrow towards repentance. They got to start feeling sorry for their sins, right? Turning away from it. Every time you kind of, you know, slip, hey, you should be mad, you should be heated, right? Bring it on, uh, give me Matthew chapter 20, so I can give me, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 24. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 19 and verse 8. Bring it on. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 19 and verse 8. And if the Lord thy God enlarge thy coast, as he hath sworn unto thy fathers, and give thee all the land which he promised to give unto thy fathers, if thou shalt keep all these commandments to do them, which I command thee this day, to love the Lord thy God, to love the Lord thy God, and to walk ever in his way. So we have promises stored up for us, right? And we have blessings stored up for us, right? And we're not going to be going through these curses forever. And we're not going to be stressed off forever, right? We're not going to be walking in the midst of darkness forever, right? And that time coming, hey, we're going to be living through them blessings, right? right. Give me the book of, uh, I got you over. Come on, 
hold that, right? There's gonna come a time where we living through these blessings, right? Living through the things that the most the, the heavenly Father has promised us. We ain't gonna be under the so-called white man's a uh, uh, dominion, all right? They going into slavery. That's right. Thus saith the Bible, all right? Christ is gonna put white people into slavery. That's right. Thus saith the Bible. That's right. What? Boy. Y'all better keep walking, all right? Before I get mad. That's right. Bring it up. And a father. It's the book of Romans. Oh, oh, come Brother, come on now, brother. The gingerbread cookie man. This is madness. All people are bugged the hell out. All right? We're celebrating Christmas. It's madness. Y'all are Israelites. Y'all gotta repent and come out of that madness. All right? Jim, gingerbread cookie man, right? It's madness. Do you know the muffin man? It's madness. Man, no, that, and that's 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 our people because they they lack that hope in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah. And they cleave it unto and the things of this world, right? Our people are conformed to the so-called white man ideologies, right? The so-called white man holidays, right? It's his forefathers that pushed that on our people, right? We shouldn't be following this his damn doctrine. Damn devil. Alright? Bring it up. It's the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 24. But we are saved by hope. Verse 19, for the earnest exception, expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. What? Of the sons of God. We waiting to be changed into that glorious body, right? And we tired of dealing with the flesh. Kind of got the flesh having no meaning over us, right? We tired of that. All right, read. Verse 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him, who has subjected the same in hope. We have been sub subjected to hope. Subjected to believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's the, that's, that's the reason he put us in his flesh, right? So we can cleave unto him, so he can be the one that saves us, right? Because he's our only savior. He's the only one that can deliver us out of this flesh. He's the only one that can deliver us out of the so-called white man hands in these other nations, right? He can only, he the only one that can deliver us from these curses. He's the only one, right? Read, go to, go, go to verse 24. Verse 24, for we are, like you, for we are saved by hope, but, but hope that is seen is not hope, but hope that is seen is not hope, for what a man seeth, why doeth he yet hope for? And we hoping for them things that we cannot see, right? That's, that's what faith is, right? Them things that we cannot see. We hoping for the kingdom of heaven. We never seen the kingdom of heaven before. All right, and hey, we hoping for them spiritual bodies. We never seen that before. All right, give me uh, Hebrews chapter eleven, verse one. We hoping for the so-called white man to be under our foot. All right, damn devils. Y'all got time for God? I got one time, for one minute for God. Y'all got time for God? The one that woke y'all up this morning? Not for the one that woke y'all up this morning. Y'all, y'all might not make it to see another day. All right, if it be the Lord's will, repent. Bring it up. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1. Yeah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's what we got faith in Yahweh Bash and Yahweh That's the reason, right? Because right. we're hoping for them things to come. Give me 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 17. This is 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 17. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Brother, right here. Fresh. Hey brother. brother, hey brother, what's your nationality? Right, Hit me real quick. See that? Hold up. Hey Pete. This is 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Hey, read it again from the top. 2 Corinthians 4 and 17. Hey, brother, you got a minute for the Bible, brother? Hey brothers. Brothers, I gotta split up. Bring it up. Second Corinthians 4 and 17. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. We're not looking to make it here in America, right? We're not just dwelling on the things that we see here. All these damn lights, damn Christmas trees, right? We're not hoping for this. We're not, we're not waiting for Christmas to come around and a fat white man slide on our chimney, all right? 
It's breaking and entering, all right? That's not what we looking for. No. We looking for this place to be over with, all right? Three. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Things that are not seen are eternal. And those are the things that we hoping for, for. And we hoping for the promises that the Heavenly Father has laid up for us, right? All so-called white people, all so-called Arabic people, right? All so-called Chinese people are going into slavery. That's right. the Bible, right? Three. Bring it up. Go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 17. Give me a uh, yeah, precept. Go to 2 Peter, chapter 1, and verse 3. You got, you got time for the Bible? 23, verse 17. You, you said I heard of my name, dude. He, he, he's doing a progress. You got time for the Bible? Come here real quick. He had a question about security. Come here real quick. Security. Security. Come here real quick, brother. No, you like in the way. Hey, you, the people in the way, brother. What's your, what's your, what's your nationality? What's your nationality, brother? You believe in the Bible? You do? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. You do? You do you, you, you. So, what's, what's your biblical nationality according to the Bible? What did God call you? Christian? No, he didn't call you Christian. He, he never called nobody Christians. God, God never called nobody Christians. What, what's your race according to the Bible? You know? You said what? Yeah, we the same race, but what are we? Who are we? What did God classify us as? Do you know, brother? Are we black? We are. We the same color as my coat. We are, brother. No skin black. Literal black. Or is it brown? See that? Gotta kind of learn your colors, brother. Your skin is brown. All right? It's madness. Bring it up. What? What? What y'all looking at? What? It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 17. Let not thine heart envy sinners. Precepts say. Let not thine heart envy sinners. We can't envy sinners, right? Walking in his truth. We can't envy hey, the things of the heathens, the things of the world. All right? Three. But be thou in the fear of the Lord. What? But be thou in the fear of the Lord. What's the fear of the Lord? What's the fear of the Lord, brothers? Keeping the commandments. Keeping the commandments, all right? We must keep the commandments. Right. Keeping the commandments, not celebrating Christmas. Keeping the commandments, not not damn following the so-called white man ideologies. All right. Keeping the commandments, not being friends with the so-called white man. All right. The Lord right. said, the Lord said, separate from thy enemies. All right. So-called white man is our enemy. That's right. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Bible. See, look, look. If she wanna. It's a sin to be with the white people. All right. Wow. To walk with them. The Lord said, follow out a multitude to do evil. That's all right. Madness. Bring it up. Hold on, brother. Hey, brother. Brother, you got time for God? You, you about to go see the Christmas tree, brother? What you about to go do? Come, 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 come. We don't celebrate Christmas. Death to Christmas. Death to Santa. All right? We hope Santa kind of choke on whatever he's eating on them cookies, right? That's right. And that milk. We hope he pass out and die. Right? We're not dealing with Santa. Santa is a pigment of y'all imagination, right? Right. And y'all gonna get put to death if y'all keep celebrating by the Heavenly Father, right? Bring it up. What? All right. For surely there's an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Your expectation is not gonna be cut off if you if you hope in Yahweh Pasha and Yahweh Shah. If you're doing things profitable for the ministry and growing the most high's name, right? Give me the book of uh give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. Give me uh give me the book of sorry, I got a minute to 
Are, are your, is your father uh, Puerto Rican? Or is your uh, mother? Come on, your father is so-called black man? Okay, you, you believe in the Bible though, right? So what did God call us according to the Bible? Because we don't, we're, we're not black, we're not Puerto Rican. Those are all man-made terms that the so-called white man has put upon us. Every, I, I breathe every now and then. But the Bible? Yeah, I don't, you know. Oh, we're going to break it down Religiously, too, I don't... Yeah, we're not, we not religious either. No, right? I'm saying, I, you know... Yeah, I get you, Kay. I get you. I, I came in... I didn't want no disrespect while I was running. You no, know you good, Kay. You good, So kid. I had to come back and acknowledge you as far as why I was shopping, so... We get you, Kay. You know, and I'm on my way, but I just came to give you some love, though. All praise to the most high, bro. All no praise doubt, to the most high. Uh, you, you got a book or something? I'm going to give, give you a flyer. Give me a right? flyer? That, 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 right there with the umbrella, he's going to give you a flyer. He's going to give me a tour. P, give him a flyer. Yeah, I have a good crew. We got a Bible for you, well, too, brother. brother yeah, hold on, brother. brother. Come here, real quick, brother. Come here, real quick. Come here, real quick, brother. Come here, real quick. Real, real quick. Let me show you one thing. What's that? Give me Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Stand, stand right here for me, King. Stand right here for me, King. Yeah, you good, King. Give me Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 2. Let me show you some real, real quick. Bring that up. This is the book of Jeremiah 10, and verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. The Lord, he told us to learn not the way of the heathen, right? Because we are chosen, all right? We, we God's chosen people. We don't really, we can't move like the, how the heathen move, all right? We must walk in holiness, all right? You agree? We must walk in holiness, all right? We, we, you agree? We can't be conformed to this world. Give me uh, Romans, give me Romans 12 and 2. Bring this up. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain. What? For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut it they tree out for one cut it they tree out of the forest. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. What does sound like, brother? What does it sound like? What does it sound like, brother? It sound like it sound like celebrating Christmas. That's what it sound like. Somebody cutting a tree out the forest, decking it with silver and with gold, fastening it that it do, does not move. Right? The Lord said that custom is vain. Right? Do you know what vain means? It means it's it's, it's not worth nothing. Right? It's unprofitable. Right? Let me show you something real real quick. Right? It's Book of Romans chapter twelve verse two, and be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We can't, as Israelites, right, as walking in holiness, we can't be conformed to celebrating Christmas. That's a form of idolatry. All right, brother? When you doing that, are you celebrating another God? Did you know that? I did not know that. You know when, you're, when, you're, when your kids bow down and pick up them gifts, they paying homage to, to Nimrod, right? When they laying out them milk and cookies, that's a sacrifice they give to that God, right? And why is you giving a, a, a white, a, a fat white man a credit for the work you pay? Mm. Plus, you giving your kids gifts that's every day, honoring your kids every day, brother. Oh, dude, that's a true you, knowledge. You shouldn't be celebrating Christmas, brother. That's not. That's it's not our customs. That's not our heritage. That's right. We too. We too. We too uh, royal for that. All right. That's that's peasant peasant uh, customs. All right. That's why. I, so what you gonna do? My whole. That's why I did. I did my whole back with Psalms twenty-seven one. Well, you got to apply the precepts. The scripture says you can't celebrate Christmas. So what you going to do, brother? I'm, I'm not getting this. I'm just picking this up for somebody. Well, you can't, you can't, you can't be partakers of other man's sins. All right? So if they celebrate Christmas, you can't be, you know, helping them celebrate. You understand that, brother? You might as well throw that away. All right? Get the receipt back. I'll get your money back, brother. I'm get my money. Well... I don't think they, they locked the door. They thought they about to get Well, I'll tell them to open it back up, all right? And most I have it open back up for you, brother. But you can't celebrate Christmas, brother, all right? All right, thank you. All praise to the most high. You an Israelite. Did you get a flyer? Yeah. yeah okay, all praise. All praise to the most high. Repent. All, right? all praise. Repent. Repent from your sins. Don't let the so-called white man indoctrinate you, all right? Especially him. Damn creep. All right. <laughs> go back to uh, give me second Peter chapter one and verse three. What you got? Pertaining to what? Pertaining to the heathen. In the book of Esther, chapter fourteen and verse fifteen, Thou knowest all things, O Lord. Thou knowest that I hate the glory of the unrighteous. That I what? That I hate the glory of the unrighteous. And I abhor the bed of the uncircumcised and all that 
healing. And all the what? And all the healing. Just son of a and all the healing. And we hate all the healing, right? All of them. That's Not right. just Joe Biden. Her too, right? That's we hate right. all the healing. That's right. right. Go back to uh, yeah. Yeah, Jeremiah 29. Give me uh, Ephesians chapter 1 and 3. You still hold that? Ephesians 1 and 3? Yeah, Come on, bring, bring it up. Look at Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 3. And it, it reads, Bless me the God and the Father of our God, Yahweh Shah, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings and heavenly places in Hamashiach. Want to read over? According as he hath chosen us and him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. And the Lord, he predestined us to be uh, holy and without blame before, with love, right? right. He predestined us to be blameless. Right. Give me Leviticus chapter 22 and verse 19. I kind of want to go into something else right now. Give me, uh, you can drop that. Matter of fact, I'm, I want you to get that actually. Well, it's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. Right. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you. Read the top. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, right. said the Lord. Thoughts of peace. And the Lord have thoughts of peace towards us, right? Hey, all this, all this darkness that we going through, right? Hey, in the end, that we're going to be blessed, right? Everything literally has to start off in darkness before it gets to that light, all right? right. Huh. Likewise with us as a nation. We have to go through these trials and tribulations for us to, to be righteous, all right? That's just like with the uh, the cycle of the moon, all right? With childbirth, everything starts off in darkness before it sees that, before you sees that, see that light, it's like you, all right? Three. And not of evil. To give you an expected end. To give you a what? To give you an expected end. That expected end hey, is us having them blessings. Us having them promises that the Lord has promised us, right? Hey, they're expected end of slavery, right? I'm going to keep saying it every yeah. time I see a new face. That's all right? me. You got to get that death note running, right? Yeah. You got to get that list going, right? Hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your name? I'm, I'm going to get one of their names, right? <laughs> they're going on that death note. What's the, you, got, you got time for the Bible, brother? I got to go to work. You ain't got time for God? Wow, no time for God. He woke you up this morning, brother. Y'all remember your nationality? Yeah. What's your nationality? You got it, man. You know what it is. God's people. Huh? Who was that? The Israelites. The Israelites. Y'all the Israelites. All right. All right. Read it up. Verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me, and ye shall go and pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. Verse 13. And ye shall seek me and find me. When ye shall search for me with all your heart. Verse 14. All right. And we're going to find the Lord when we seek for him with all our heart. Let me turn this back around for these damn devils. All right. Now go to uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 1. And go to, uh, give me Leviticus chapter 22, verse 19. Because the Lord predestined us hey, to be blameless, to be without blemishes, right? Give me Leviticus chapter 22 and verse 19. And you give me, um, you can drop that. You give me uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Yeah. It's the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Right. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice. What? A living sacrifice. Present our bodies as a living sacrifice, right? And our Lord was made a living sacrifice. And he laid out his life for us. He denied himself hey, for us, right? right? Hey, so we must do likewise. That's right. Then, then don't the scripture say, hey, we're not greater than our master, all right? Don't the scripture say, hey, we got to follow the Lord? Give me Matthew chapter 8. Give me Matthew chapter 8, verse 19. Because uh, Give me Matthew chapter 8, verse 19. Y'all got time for God? Always. But not right now? Always. Come on in. But not right now. See that? That's called hypocrisy, sister. Can't say always and then in the same breath say, not right now. It's madness. Y'all got, what's our nationality? Hey, what's your nationality? Italian. Italian. Y'all kill Christ. The Italians kill Christ. If y'all didn't know, y'all ancestors killed Christ. Show sure fuck. Damn devils. <laughs> Bring it up. Yeah, Matthew 8 and 19. The book of Matthew, chapter 8 and verse 19. And it reads. Wait, that's not. Right. My bad. I'm at it. 
the book of Matthew, chapter 8, and verse 19. And a certain scribe came and said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whensoever thou goest. And you gotta be like that scribe. Following the Lord wheresoever he goes, right? That's right. Where's the Lord? Where's the Lord? You gotta hey, you gotta uh, be addicted to this thing, right? Give me first Corinthians chapter 16, verse 15. You gotta be addicted to the Lord. You got some fees that they're they addicted to uh cigarettes, right? They start their skin starts scratching once they smoke a cigarette. You got some people addicted to vaping, right? Smoking a damn battery. Right? Madness. But you want to be addicted to your whole boss and your Right. And you want to wake up and think about him, right? Right. And you want to go to sleep and think about him. That's right. Every right. every hour of the day, every second of the day, you want to be thinking about your whole boss and your right? Uh, and he shouldn't leave your mind. You gotta be a true addict for the Lord, right? What? The entire heathens is looking at me. Read it out. <laughs> give me uh, First Corinthians chapter. Uh, give me First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse fifteen. Give me the prologue of Sirach. Sirach. I said he was addicted. He wrote this for them addicted to the uh, Yeah, give me that. Yeah, 16 verse 15. Okay. It's a book of 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 15. Right. I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia. And that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. You say they addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints, right? Are you addicted? Right? You gotta ask yourself that, right? <laughs> Sound crazy, but hey, are you addicted? Right? Are you an addict? Are you an addict for the Lord? Right? Yes! Yes! What y'all right. think, think we talking about, right? A racist people. Yep. Bring it out again. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 15. I beseech you, brethren, ye know the house of Stephanus, that it is the first fruits of Achaia, and that they have addicted themselves to the ministry of the saints. You gotta be addicted to the ministry of the saints, right? That's right. And you gotta you gotta see what you can do for the saints. See what you can do to profit the ministry each and every day, right? And if you ain't doing it, you kinda having withdrawals and you kinda freaking out because you ain't doing it, right? You want to be addicted to this truth. All right. You got precept? No. Nah, I still want that hold that. Give me, uh, you got the prologue of Sirach? What you mean? Sirach what? They have addicted themselves. He wrote that for them addicted to the law. Can somebody grab that, whoever quick with their sword or technology. Sirach. Prologue of Sirach. I'm there. I'm there. Go to prayers or go to... Find, find where it said they are addicted to themselves. All right? Because we have to be addicted to this truth. Addicted to our Lord. Addicted to serving our Lord. All right? You can't be conformed to this world. I got it. The book of Sirach, the prologue, to the intent that those which are dearest to learn, they are addicted to these things. They are, what? They are addicted to these things. My prophet, much more in living according to the law. According to what? According, according to, to the, the law. law. And he was addicted to the law. Right? Hey, Sirach, the son of Sirach, and he was addicted. He was addicted to the law. That's why he wrote these things in wisdom, right? Uh -huh. Through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Read it out of uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. So being addicted, right, you got to make your body a living sacrifice. You have to do the things that's profitable for the ministry. All right? You got to deny yourself so you can save your own soul. You got to make it for the Bible, sister. She got two. You got two? What's your nationality? Um, I'm black. Black. You the same color as your jacket? Okay, no. Nope. No. You ain't the same color as your jacket, so how are we black? We, you more brown than black. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you believe in the Bible, right? Right. So what did God what did God call us? What did he call us? Yeah, because he didn't call us black. What did he call us? What's our biblical race? What did God call us? Because God made Adam, right? Adam had sons, his sons had sons, and his sons' sons had sons, right? What was their race? 
I'm not for sure. Oh, I'm gonna show you. So if you give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And give me Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. All right, fair. I got it. Let's do Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. And the Lord said he was going to bring uh, the Israelites into Egypt. All right. What was the Israelites doing in Egypt? Let's find out. Bring it up. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 22, and verse 2. Right. Right. Exodus, chapter 20, verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt, according to the Bible, it means house of bondage, right? What do Egypt mean? House of bondage. House of bondage, right? Bring this up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. The Lord says he's going to take this people back into Egypt again, which is what? What is Egypt? The house of bondage, right? The house of bondage was synonymous with slavery, captivity. So the Lord, how do we get into America? What form of transportation? A boat, right? Ship, right? So this people he's speaking to, he said he's going to take them back into Egypt again, which is slavery. And watch how they got back into Egypt again. With ships. Verse 68 from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Slavery again. With ships. This is our history in the Bible. The Lord is talking about us prophetically, right? So he said this people were going to slavery on ships. And that happened to us. This people race is called the Israelites, right? So what would that make us according to the Bible? The Israelites, right? But why did these things happen to us? Why do we go into slavery on ships? Why do you think that happened? Why are we at the bottom of society? Why are we getting killed by the so-called white men, like cops? We still get hanged in the south. Why is these things happening to us? It's because we disobey God. Disobey God's laws, statutes, and commandments, right? The Lord, he's our heavenly father. He whoops his kids, you know, when they disobey, all right? It's like how any father would do, all right? He punished, but he can't just punish us by coming down here and grabbing the belt and whooping all his children. He punished us by the way of the other nations. That's why the other nations, they have a, you know, dominion over us. That's why the other nations, they prosper within our societies, right? You got the Chinese man, he got the beauty supply stores. He got the nail salons. He got the, uh... You got a plethora of other things, right? You got the so-called African nation, they got the hair braiding stores. You got the so-called white man, he own everything else, right? So-called Arabs, they own the gas stations. The East Indians, they own the 7-Eleven. What do we own as a people? We don't have no thriving stores in America, right? So these things happen to us because we disobey God, right? Go, go to verse 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you, it's still speaking about the Israelite man, right? This man used to be tender amongst his own people, and what? And very delicate, and delicate amongst his own people. Are our people tender and delicate amongst each other now? How do we treat each other as a nation? Bad, right? Not delicate. Not delicate at all, right? We we kill each other over a pair of shoes on a Saturday morning just because some new George just came out, right? You never seen a Chinese man kind of kill Lee or a Lean Long or, or, or some you know Jordans? You never seen that, right? Right. right? Verse 54, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. Since this man didn't listen to God, since he didn't obey his commandments, now he have an evil eye towards his own brother. This so-called black-on-black crime, all right? Read. And toward the wife of his bosom. How do we treat our women? Do we treat our women good? What about in the, uh, the music industry? Are we, are we saying, like, singing love songs? You know, we call them B's, H's, right? We saying we gonna take our brother uh, wife, right? We, we, we talking down on them, degrading them, right? That's a curse placed on our people. Cause you don't see that within, you know, other nations music. They're not talking down on their own people like this, right? Really? And toward the remnant of his children. What you think he gonna do to his children? He already hate his brother. He already hate his women. What you gonna think, he, what you think he gonna do to his children? Abandon them, right? The so-called black man is known for abandoning his children, right? Hey, if, who grew up with their father in their household? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you grew up with your father in your household. We didn't, right? Majority rules, right? He even though. See that? That's a. You see that? And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. This is a curse placed on our people, and it's sad too. All right.
But it's all because we disobey God. We disobey our Heavenly Father. The, all these bad things are not just happening to us for a reason, right? I mean, for no reason, so I do. It's happening for a reason, because we disobeyed God's law, statutes, commandments. But now it's time to come back home. Come back to our Heavenly Father. Start obeying, all right? Because that's why we are here. Give me Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. That's exactly why we are here, to teach the multitude of the people, to tell them to come back home, come back to their God, all right? It's time to start living right. Because this place, this place is not going to be here forever, all right? Hey, uh, uh, America hasn't been the same since COVID, all right? Everything then shift and change. Bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, and verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Though the Lord give us the bread of adversity. Adversity is hard times. Hardship. Though he give us hardship, right? Though we go through a lot, right, Rick? Right? And the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. The Lord said he will never, he, he won't remove his teachers in a corner anymore, right? And hey, that's why we are here teaching our people, right, Rick? Right? But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way. This is the word. This is the way. This is the word. This is the way. This is the way, sister. It's time to come back home and, 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 and cleave into the Heavenly Father. All right? So what's your nationality? Your race? Israelite. You were Israelite. The Italians killed Christ. The Italians killed Christ. All right? Did you know that, sister? You know the Italians killed Christ? No. Yeah, they, they killed Christ, all right? So if you see an Italian, tell them, hey, your people killed Christ, all right? We give you a flyer, though, sister. You're a flyer. You're a flyer, sister. We got, you know, Instagram on there, Facebook, you know, YouTube. All right, sister. What's your nationality, sister? Israelite. Okay, all right, sister. All right, sister. You're Israelite. All praise to the most high. All praise is to the most high. All right? And a word going up. Hey. Give me uh, Acts chapter 19, verse 20. I'm about to close up. You read Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 10. You read Jeremiah 10, 10. Yeah, bring it up. This is the book of Acts chapter 19, and verse 20. So mightily grew the word of Yahweh and prevailed. Give me 12 and 24. 12 and verse 24. It's the book of Acts, chapter 12, and verse 24. Bring it out. But the word of Yahweh grew and multiplied. The word what? Grew and multiplied. The word grew and multiplied, right? And the word going out, right? Huh? Each and every day. Can't not stop this word, right? What's this? Wow. What's going on? <laughs> right? Santa's miss missing his helper, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, right? Bring it up. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 10. Bring it up. Bring it up. But the Lord is the true God. The Lord is the what? But the Lord is the true God. The Lord is the what? But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God. He is the living God. He is the living God. Why is not the living God, right? At all. Christian. Right? Krishna, he, whatever that is, it's not the living God, right? Fat Buddha, his fat, and he's not the living God, right? Right. Not even Allah. Sheba. Sheba, she's not. Hey, they not. They not the living God, right? And Yahweh, he's the living God, right? Right. And an everlasting king. And an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble. And the nations shall not be able to abide in his indignation. And these nations ain't gonna stand in that day, right? So called white man, he's not gonna be able to stand in that day, right? With the baby head, right? Bring it up. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 7 and verse 18. Bring it out! But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. What we gonna do? Shall take the kingdom. What we gonna do? Shall take the kingdom. I just wanna say, please. Shall take the kingdom. Take the kingdom, right? Read. And possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Possess the kingdom forever and forever. 